what up nerds so if you click this video you want to see how you can get an ai teacher or as i like to call it an ai tutor so if you're new to this channel i talk about tech stuff but um tech stuff that's actually useful for you and your personal life and today i want to talk about this ai teacher that i created so looking online i think i'm possibly one of the first people to ever create this i haven't seen anyone else make something like this but it's actually really cool i'm gonna show you guys how to create it but first i want to talk about kind of what it is now first i gotta explain this for youtube and just for your personal life i yeah, uh, don't use this to cheat and if I were you I probably wouldn't use it to cheat either because it's like why are you taking the class if you're not super interested in it um at least that's my personal view obviously I get there some classes that this might be a little bit more useful in than others but um for all the classes at least in college I find them pretty interesting and I only use this kind of as a supplement for my teaching so if I don't understand a concept in the book this actually is able to explain it pretty well since it uses outside knowledge mixed with my book and course material and it will give me actually a super useful answer i can totally see online classes utilizing this in the future like if students don't understand something in particular they can uh, really easily get it through here and i also want to emphasize if you really wanted to cheat this tool isn't going to make it any more easy for you that's just for youtube in case they're like oh this video is like academically dishonest um this is just like the same as like googling an answer to me and it's actually more useful because it's able to provide feedback and you can ask questions. So there you go, YouTube. And lastly, for the disclaimers, don't just copy paste stuff. I mean, they're going to figure it out because there's tons of AI detectors. You're not being really that secretive, I guess, if you think you're being secretive because I've used some of them and they actually work pretty well. Sometimes they do say that I did use AI when I just wrote something completely about myself. But besides the fact, they probably will figure out you cheated. And especially if you use turnitin.com, I know they have a built-in AI detector. So just as a disclaimer, don't copy paste things. Probably going to get caught. All right, so let's talk about my AI teacher. So essentially what my AI teacher does is I upload all my course material to a bot that actually reads through all of it and figures out stuff and I'm able to do crazy things with it. So if I want to figure out if my answer is correct or wrong and why it's correct or wrong, I can actually just copy paste my question and my answer into it. Or if I have a question, just straight up ask the question. I can ask follow-up questions, it's able to get tons of context clues, figure out kind of what I'm asking and how to explain it in a better way. I've used ChatGPT for things like this before, where it's like, if I really don't understand a concept, I can do something as crazy as quantum computing. I can actually ask it to explain something to a 10 or 12 year old and like bring it down in some way that they would understand. And I found that to be super useful with all kinds of different concepts. I mean, I'm a advertising major and looking at marketing concepts and things like that. It's able to really break down and help me understand things that I would need to meet with a teacher to actually figure it out. I feel like it's actually bringing knowledge to some people who don't actually have as much education access as others. And I think that it's really cool because it's evening that playing field. And especially if you're able to utilize your tools like this, it makes it really cool because you know, you have a teacher essentially online on, on the internet for free and you can just start using it today and program it yourself. So let's kind of get into the tutorial of how to use it. So what you're gonna do is it's, there's this website called Bot Sonic. Now what Bot Sonic is, is essentially it's meant for businesses and things like that, but it is free. And it's meant for businesses to upload a bunch of documents to, and it'll give them a little web chat to interact with their clients and their clients can ask questions to this bot and it's able to answer questions for that but I've kind of repurposed it for my own uses, which is essentially making AI teachers. So I have this little folder in ARC. If you're curious what ARC is, I got a video about it right there, but I call it digital teachers. And I have one for most of my classes. And all you have to do is if you're trying to create a new bot, you go to your course materials and your book. Most of the time you can find a free PDF online of your book. If you upload that PDF, it'll read through it. You can upload like some supplementary assignments, supplementary articles, just kind of Take a look over like your canvas if you use that download all that and then put that into the bot it's going to read through all of that and you're done you're basically done but one thing that i like to add onto it is you can enter in a prompt so i tell it to act as if it were a teacher for the class but if you do feel like it would be more useful i could see some uses where you would tell it to act like it's a student who a lot of times it is kind of accurate to uh, like scarily accurate as to what the teachers often give the assignments for only a pluses though some of the cool things is that it is completely free and you can share this with your friends. So um, you can actually share the, the bot around like to anyone basically. And that makes it super cool for like studying and you can add it to like, I don't know, there's just a lot of things where it's like, what do the books say about that? You can literally ask it like, 
which is a book defining leadership as and it's going to give you the actual book accurate definition and i feel like it's a lot better than just simply looking it up because it's going to give you a lot of supplementary information that really helps break it down and understand i've even used it where it's like did i make all the flashcards that i needed to to study for the test you can ask it hey can you make me like 30 flashcards with some of the most important information. I think it's actually the best way to study. And I think that in the future is probably what kids are going to be doing to study for hard exams and things like that. Yeah. And essentially on the website, you have this like tree diagram of things you're looking at. I find that the tree diagram is actually really useful. You can see kind of where the information is going and you can write kind of funny remarks if it doesn't understand. Like I have a leadership class where I talk with it about the book afterward, which I think is really cool. And if it doesn't know the answer to something, it'll say like, oh, I'm a bad leader, uh, for example. And just things like that, you can add that in afterward. I feel like it's just a little nice, subtle touch to it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like or subscribe down below. But I'm gonna be making a video on seven chat GPT tips, and they're gonna be super applicable to your personal life and kind of help you get ahead in life. And I think that is the main use for AI. And if you're kind of curious, my thoughts on AI, I got a video right here about that. 